Grace, thanks for joining us. I don't think there's any better place to start than uh, the Gloss fans voting you as their Player of the Month for May. Um, how do you feel about that? Obviously, the, the, the fans choosing that vote as well. Yeah, that's great. I mean, um, you know, great honour that you know the fans see that. Um, I've been really happy with how I've gone at uh, the start of this year, so it's, it's good that they're seeing that as well um, and they've contributed to, to great team results. You know, you sort of don't keep track of the the actual personal numbers but just you know reading the, the post that's gone out there I've obviously had a really productive month um, as well as you know getting our first champo win first last win on the board as well so it's been, um, been a great place to be. You took your form from the championship then into that first game here in Bristol against Essex with your match winning 49 there in, in the run chase we've got Hampshire Hawks tomorrow on Friday just how are the group going we can obviously see the training behind us now um, how, how, how is the sort of feeling in the group? Yeah, mood's really good. Obviously, we had a frustrating evening on Friday at Sussex. You know, we um, made a couple of mistakes, which which cost us the win there. But we're really, really confident that you know we can put that right. Um, we're doing lots of great stuff, and and the fact that we know you know we made those few errors, but still almost came so close to winning was um, was a little positive to take in that as well. So um, obviously, a great result here against Essex. We had great support, which obviously drives you through. So hopefully, more of the same with uh, with two home games this weekend. He just said we've got we've got two home games. I know you'll all be thinking about the game against Hampshire, but we've also got Sussex on Sunday, and that game is all about uh, Tom Smith's Purple Family Day. Uh, we're raising money for Grief Encounter. Just talk to us a little bit about how important that sort of day is and the game is for the group. Yeah, we had such an amazing day a few years ago when we did it. It was a great idea, and it's, it's so good that that we're doing that again. Um, Smudge, obviously, the caring bloke that he is with us. You know, we see that as well. But obviously, with him and his family and what they've been through. It, it's amazing that they get that support from us here at the club as well. Um, he's managed it brilliantly. Um, it's, it's such a shame that he's not going to be able to get out there and, and play. But um, you know, I know that he's really looking forward to having everyone around, a real family feel, and, and obviously raise money for Grief Encounter, which is obviously such an, an amazing cause for, for families that, uh, that need it. And the purple shirt look, looks amazing. I bet you guys can't wait to get that one on. Yeah, I'm um, buzzing for that. <laughs> uh, and Friday is our is our ace takeover day. So um, Theo and the guys from um, from the GCF will be uh, uh, will kind of be doing their thing here uh, on Friday night. And um, that program, just talk to us a little bit about how um, important that is for you guys and for the city of Bristol as well. Yeah, I mean Theo's been great with us in terms of you know educating us on what what they're trying to do and. Um, their goals. Um, a few of us have been in. I know Hamo this winter has, has done a lot of work with them. Um, you know, a few of us have dipped in and out and done sessions. And there's some really good talent in the Bristol in the Bristol group. Obviously, there's groups over in in, in London and Birmingham as well. So they're obviously producing brilliant cricketers. Um, it's great to see some of those starting to get opportunities in in county cricket as well, which I know is um, a huge aim of, of what Theo's trying to do here. Um, and it'll be great to see them take over and and make sure everyone knows. You know. What they're trying to do and, and what they're trying to produce which is you know a really high level talent pool for um counties to look at.